Okay, we have here today another interesting integral from the MIT integration B. This one's all the way back in 1991, problem 40. We have the integral of the square root of tan x dx. So I was going back in the history and I thought for sure that I had done this integral before. I found I had done it as a definite integral, but that was actually a pretty different method. So I think this is the first time doing this. What I wanna to do to get started with this, I'm gonna do a u substitution and I wanna make my u basically the whole thing, square root of tan x. We'll square both sides and we'll have u squared equals tan x. If I take arctan on both sides, I can isolate the x and write this as x equals arctan of u squared. Then we'll go ahead and we'll take a derivative. So we'll find our dx value. Derivative here is gonna be one over this squared. So that's gonna be one over u to the fourth plus one. But then we need the chain rule. This is gonna give me a two u in the numerator du. So we'll go ahead and we'll make this substitution. So this thing's just gonna be u. We'll have this, which is two u du over u to the fourth plus one. I'll just clean it up a little bit. We'll pull the two out front of the integral. u times u gives me u squared. And then here we have du, and this is gonna be u to the fourth plus one. But now for this, what I like to do when I have a fourth power, and I think I did a recent video really similar to this, is I can clean that up by multiplying by one. We'll multiply by one over u squared over one over u squared. Multiplying one over u squared times u squared gives me one in the numerator. Multiplying this in here, we end up with u squared plus one over u squared. Now from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kinda of make things happen. So what I'm gonna do is split this into two separate integrals. And then, so for the first one, I'm gonna factor this, we'll factor it as u plus one over u squared. Now we don't wanna change this because when we multiply this out, we get u squared plus one over u squared, but then we get a plus two. So I'll subtract two, so I'm not changing it. And then over here for the second one, we'll do something really similar, but instead of doing u plus one, I'm gonna write this as u minus one over u. You multiply this out, again, you get u squared plus one over u squared, but the middle terms give me a minus two, so I'll add a plus two so I'm not changing it there. And then what I'm trying to do is set up a substitution where I'm gonna substitute here for this, and then in this one, we're gonna substitute for this. So what I'm gonna do is force my derivative into the numerator. So like taking a derivative of this, this is gonna be one minus one over u squared. Taking the derivative of this, this is gonna be one plus one over u squared. So let me just clarify what we just did. So this here, this denominator is exactly the same as this, so I haven't changed that. This denominator, if you multiply it out, is exactly the same. So we haven't changed the denominators, we're fine there. But I kind of magically just created these numerators without any explanation, right? I just kind of made that happen there and I made this happen here. But the beauty of it is if you add these two together, one u squared minus one u squared, those cancel. One plus one gives me two, but that's what we have. We have two, if you distribute that in, you have two in the numerator. But now I'm in good shape for this substitution. So for this, I'm gonna make my substitution, we'll call t equal to u plus one over u. And then our dt is gonna be our numerator, one, one minus one u squared du. And then over here, we'll do substitution, we'll say for v, we'll do v equals u minus one over u. And then again, our dv is just in the numerator, one plus one over u squared du. So let's just go ahead with this substitution now. So again, here we're gonna have our dt in the numerator that we have right there. And then this thing's gonna become t squared minus two. And then for this next one, we've got dv in the numerator, and this is gonna become v squared plus two. Okay, now continuing on with these integrals, we have formulas that we can use for each of these. You're probably more familiar with the arctan formula, which we have here on the bottom. But then for this other integral, we have this really similar formula using the hyperbolic inverse. Now, one thing I wanna do before integrating is I wanna get into this form with a squared. So I can take my two here and I can write it as square root of two squared. And I can do the same thing over here, writing this as square root of two squared. So, so in both cases with this formula, our a value is just gonna be square root of two. So we'll go ahead with this. So for this first, we're gonna use this first formula. So this is gonna be minus one over a value, which is square root of two hyperbolic inverse tan of t over square root of two. And then this one's gonna be one over square root of two, arctan of v over square root of two. So in order to finish this off, we're just gonna to need to back substitute. And what I wanna do is get these t and v values all the way back to x. So first I'm gonna kinda of consolidate this. I can get a common denominator and write u plus one over u. I can write this as u squared plus one over u. And then doing basically the same thing for v, we can write this as u squared minus one over u. So now just getting our value for t, 
u squared again is 10x, so I can write this as 10x plus 1 over square root of 10x. So I can actually write this as square root of 10x, and then 1 over square root of 10x, I can write this as square root of cotangent x. Then doing basically the same thing on v, this is just going to become square root of tan x minus square root of cotangent x. So now we'll just back substitute with our t and v values. So we're going to have minus 1 over square root of 2, inverse tan here. Our t value is going to be, this is going to be square root of tan x plus square root of cotangent x, all over square root of 2. Plus we're going to have 1 over square root of 2, and then we'll have our arctan of our v value, which is going to be square root tan of x minus square root cotangent x over square root of 2. Put a plus C, and that's it. Okay, good problem from MIT 1991. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.